Gary Cohen on the call right here on SNY as we get a look right now at the National League strikeout leaders from 2017 presented by Geico and Jacob DeGrom. Second on that list behind only Max Scherzer of the Washington Nationals and Jacob joining us on the telephone line right now. Jake, uh, great to visit with you and I know you're getting set to go to spring training with a new manager and a new pitching coach for the first time in your career. So what about that and how does it change the equation for you? Um, I'm not really sure yet, but uh, today actually was the first day that I got to meet Mickey, and, um, you know, it was nice to put a, a face with the phone calls that we've had. But, um, you know, throughout the offseason, I've kept in contact with him and kept him up uh, to date with my throwing program. And, you know, we've all been on the same page. So to finally meet Mickey, and then, you know, I'm looking forward to meeting Dave and the next week or so. I was going to ask you, with the new manager, how does it how does it change, or did it change your off-season throwing program at all? No, I think what changed it was actually being healthy to end the season. Uh, you know, 2016, I had the little elbow clean up, and then um, 15, we were in the World Series. So I think you know that's what we want. But you know, having a I guess you consider it a regular off season. We're not playing in the playoffs, so I was kind of able to go back to what I did in 2014 going into 2015. So you're coming off that 15 win season. You hit the 200 innings plateau. First time you've done that in your big league career. You told John Harper of the Daily News that you are striving to win the Cy Young Award. So I, I guess my question is, how do you take it to the next level? Um, I think just a little more consistency. Um, try to, you know, eliminate the the real bad one. I had two in a row there last year that really kind of hurt me. Um, I think just try to be more consistent and, um, you know, find a way on those days when you don't have your best stuff to still get out and keep the team in a position to win. What's your take on leadership inside that clubhouse? You're a veteran now on, on this Mets team. Can a pitcher in your eyes be a leader? And do you see yourself, Jake, in that role? Um, I think a pitcher can be a leader. Um, you know, I think we have a, a tight group of starters, and I think, you know, everybody's pulling in the same direction. So I think, you know, the only – leadership really needed if somebody asks you a question or, you know, if there's any way you can help anybody. Um, but, you know, these, these guys all have the same goal and, um, you know, they're fun to be around. We enjoy our time together. So, um, you know, it, it kind of takes care of itself. Mets general manager Sandy Alderson mentioning that your reps had spoken to the Mets about a potential contract extension. What's it going to take, Jake, to get that done? Um. You know, honestly, I don't know. We I, There had been a little bit of talks before um, we agreed on the uh, one-year arbitration deal. Um, and it never really went anywhere. So, you know, we decided to go one year. And then I I had heard that it, you know, could go into spring training or possibly into the season. Um, but honestly, I haven't talked that much about it. One of the biggest off-season changes inside the organization has been with the training staff. So how do you see that benefiting not just the pitchers, but this entire team? Uh, you know, the goal is to keep everybody on the field. And, you know, that's not always easy. And those guys who, who miss time, I think they, they um, put in the work this off-season to stay on the field. So hopefully it makes the training staff's job easy. But, um, you know, we're, Everybody's familiar with the new guys, and, and we really enjoy being around them and, you know, looking forward to see what they can do. Let's hit a couple of last things here. The commissioner, Rob Manfred, said today there's not going to be a pitch clock in 2018, but they do want to see the pace of game get under three hours to 255. That's the goal. How does that, in your eyes, come to fruition? Um, I'm not really sure. It's, it's funny because <laughs> – a lot of people like to watch football, and that's a pretty long game. But, <laughs> right. um, you know, I haven't really thought about it that much. I feel like I tend to work pretty fast. You do. It is. Yep. So I think, you know, I haven't really thought about how they could make the game faster. But, you know, I think a pitch clock, if if you stepped off, wouldn't it reset? So, you know, I don't really, I don't really know how that would work. So I haven't put much thought into it just because I – I didn't really think it would affect me that much with kind of the rate that I work at. I heard you say earlier today on the radio that you'd love to be the opening day starter. Why, why is that important to you? 
Um, it's just an honor, uh, you know, to, that you want to achieve. You know, it's uh, who's going to be the opening day starter. That's always a question. And, you know, I think that would be definitely a, a pretty neat thing if I was able to do that. I think the $64,000 question as we wrap this up, will the hair remain short in 2018? <laughs> it'll be pretty short unless I wear one of those hair hats out there. <laughs> I don't think it'll grow back that fast. Jake, great to visit with you. I look so forward to seeing you down in uh, spring training uh, shortly, and uh, thanks for coming on the show tonight. All right, thank you for having me. I appreciate it.